God's children, welcome to Sunday School with Mrs. Abaro. It is the sixth Sunday in Ordinary Time, and in the Gospel reading, Jesus teaches us the right way to act and to relate with others and to stir up our treasures in heaven in the Beatitudes. The Gospel reading is from Luke chapter 6, 17, 20 to 26. We shall be taking our reading from 20 to 26 anyways. Now let me ask you these questions, children. Should you be nice or mean to people? Hmm? Should you be gentle or should you be rough with others? Should you love others? Should you put others first? Have you responded to these questions? I'm sure that mom and dad must have taught us these. But did you know that Jesus wants you to behave as well? Did you know? Well, let us see what Jesus taught in Luke chapter 6, verses 20 to 26. Now, don't forget that many people were following Jesus when he started his ministry of teaching, of preaching, and of healing people. People from Judea, Jerusalem, cities in Tyre and Sidon, they all followed Jesus. And Jesus was healing them, curing their diseases and all. Okay, and he was also teaching them. Don't forget, he was very particular about teaching. And so Jesus started in verse 26. Looking at his disciples, he said, Blessed are you who were poor, for yours is the kingdom of God. Blessed are you who hunger now, for you will be satisfied. Blessed are you who weep now, for you will laugh. Hmm. Blessed are you when people hate you, when they exclude you and insult you and reject your name as evil because of the Son of Man. Rejoice in that day and leap for joy, because great is your reward in heaven. For that is how their ancestors, their forefathers, treated the prophets. But woe to you who are rich, for you have already received your comfort. Mm. Woe to you who are well fed now, for you will go hungry. Woe to you who laugh now, for you will mourn and weep. Woe to you when everyone speaks well of you, for that is how their ancestors treated the false prophets. This is the gospel of the Lord. Yes, praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Now, um, what are the words you hear? We see blessed, we see woe. Mm. Don't concern yourself too much, okay? But um, today's gospel is called Sermon on the Plain. Matthew chapter 5 also records the Sermon on the Mount. In both gospels, the word blessed is used, okay? Yes, the word blessed is used, but it's actually more in the gospel of Matthew chapter 5. They are called the Beatitudes, okay? Yes, this gospel in, in Luke as well as the one in Matthew are called the Beatitudes, often called Beatitudes, okay, by children teachers. Yes, you'll understand why later. Now, in the Beatitudes, ch um, children, Jesus describes happiness in the kingdom of God, okay? Yes, Jesus is teaching us that things are not always as they seem. Now, let's start. Who are the people that Jesus described as blessed? was happy who are the people those who were poor those who were hungry those who were sad those who were hated by others those who mourn yes these are the people jesus said are blessed oh my well let's go on who are the people jesus directs his warning when he was saying whoa he was warning them who are these people people that are rich people that have plenty to eat people that laugh now people that are well spoken of um, well, I, I, I believe you are wondering, is it that it's wrong to be rich or have things, food to eat? Oh no, not at all. These are not bad. But Jesus is warning us about looking for happiness in these things. Looking for happiness in the money we have, the money our parents have, the things we have, the pleasures we have, the toys we have, you know, who we are. We are children of commissioners. Our parents are wealthy. You know, when we pinch our happiness in these things, Jesus doesn't like them. What he's saying that these things will only make us happy for a while, but they do do not bring lasting happiness okay when jesus says blessed are the poor in spirit he's telling us that people that trust in him and rely in him are blessed okay that they don't really cling to things they have but they trust in jesus so he said these ones are blessed because they look up to him but those who already put their trust in things they have well they have already had their full are we together children yes it's not that um, having things to eat uh, is bad oh no jesus is saying when we put our trust in these things 
they will fade away, okay? We can only be happy with them for a while and later we will not. It's just like you're having a toy, uh, maybe when you're much younger. As you grow older, you will no longer enjoy having that toy. You understand? Yes, okay? So Jesus is saying that for us to be truly happy, we must have the be attitudes. We must be kind. We must be loving. We must be gentle. We must be humble. We must be prayerful. We must be true. We must be clean. We must be grateful. Okay. Yes. These are the attitudes that Jesus wants us to have. These are the be attitudes, be attitudes, be kind, be loving, be caring, be, be, be good, be prayerful, okay? You know, show concern for others. These are the things that Jesus is telling us, okay? And these things will give us lasting joy. We'll be very happy when we relate well with people, when we show them love, okay? Yes, what have we learned? We have said that anyways. Now, what we've learned is that Jesus wants us to have lasting happiness, okay? Yes, trust him and be nice to people. Consider others. We are blessed when we show concern for others, okay? When we come out to do the things Jesus wants us to do with people around us, Jesus calls us blessed. Let us pray. We're going to pray with um, uh, uh, the prayer um saint francis of assisi yeah um i believe we've said that prayer sometime prayer of saint francis of assisi yes are we ready position for prayer i hope you can see it okay let's pray lord make me an instrument of your peace where there is hatred let me sow love where there is injury pardon where there is doubt faith where there is despair hope where there is darkness, light. Where there is sadness, joy. O oh, Divine Master, grant that I may not um, so much seek to be consoled as to console, to be understood as to understand, to be loved as to love. For it is in giving that we receive. It is in pardoning that we are pardoned. And it is in dying that we are born to eternal life. Amen. In the name of the Father the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Now, this prayer is so beautiful. We are called to show kindness to people. Even when people are in despair, we're supposed to give them hope. When people seem angry, we're supposed to, you know, lighten their mood to make them feel better. When people don't have things to eat, we're supposed to reach out, give. Okay, that's why this prayer is so powerful. It's giving us the essence for which we are called. We are children of God. Okay, all right. Now we come to the end of today's Sunday school. <laughs> Jesus loves you and he cares for you. He wants you to put on these attitudes, be attitudes, okay? And um, um, remember that he wants you to have everlasting life. He wants you to have a lasting happiness in him, okay? And not in the things he has given you, okay? Know that God gave you these things so you can look up to him, reach out to others, and then you have lasting joy, okay, children? So we end it here for today. Till next Sunday, it is bye. God bless you.